Hi, boys and girls. It's you know who. Would you like to know how to solve really difficult math facts like these? 81 minus 7 equals 74. 66 minus 8 equals 74. 68 equals 73 minus 5. Well, I have a trick for you. As you're watching this vodcast, whenever I show you this, if you're working by yourself in a group, please pause the, pre the, the vodcast using your pause button so that you can pause and think. Take a look at these facts here. And I want you to use a thinking skill called compare and contrast. Notice what is the same and what is different. Notice what's in the tens place and notice what's in the ones place. Now, take a moment to look at these three and notice what's in the tens place and notice what's in the ones place. And finally, look at these three. What do you notice is the same and different? Take a moment to... If you noticed that only the digits in the tens place is changing, you're right. Why? Because these are called fact extensions. What are fact extensions? If you know this fact, then you're likely to be able to figure out this one. And if you know this fact, you're likely to be able to figure out that one. And if you know that fact, you're likely to be able to figure out that one and that one, and so on and so forth. Let me show you another example of what I mean. Take a look at these facts. If you know 3 plus 8, and you know that it equals 11, then you're likely to be able to figure out this one. Why? Because there's an 11 in here plus another 10. What's 11 plus 10? It's 21. Here's another 11, plus 40 is 51. Look at that. The pattern is always the same. Let's take a look at another example here. Here's an example using subtraction. If you know what 11 minus 6 is, then you also know what 21 minus 6 is and 51 minus 6. Look, 11 minus 6 equals 5. And 21 minus 6 equals 15. And 51 minus 6 equals 45. No matter what, blank 1 minus 6 is always going to have an answer that has a 5 in the 1's place. If you don't believe me, see if you can think of an example when that isn't true. Here's another way to look at it. Let's look at a hundreds chart. Fact extensions tell us that no matter what the problem is, the basic fact in it is always going to lead to the same answer. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Why? Well, let's count on from 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That lands us on 14. But if we're at 26 instead of 6, if we're adding two tens to the 6, and we count them from 8, we go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We land on 34. 14 and 34 are similar, aren't they? What's the same? That's right, the 4 and the 1's place. The only difference is the digits in the 10's place. The examples can go on forever, and they're always going to remain the same. 46 plus 8 is going to equal 54. 66 plus 8 is going to equal 74. 86 plus 8 is going to equal 94. It's predictable, and it's always going to stay the same. That's pretty cool. Now let's look at this using a calculator. If you have a calculator, pull it out. Turn it on and hit clear. If we typed in 4 and we wanted to turn it to a 10, what would we have to add to the 4? What keys would we have to push? Well, to figure that out, you might have to think about what's the difference between 4 and 10. 
Now, you could subtract 4 from 10, or you could count on from 4. Say 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Six fingers. Okay. Well, here's a similar fact extension. 64 to the next 10 above it. 70. Hmm. I wonder what that how what the difference is between them. Let's try the same strategy. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Six fingers. You starting to see a pattern? You bet you are. 84 to 90, how many fingers? Well, you're probably predicting. Let's see if we're right. I'm going to clear it out. Hit 84 plus 6. Do you think it's going to be 90? You're right. So that's a really helpful strategy for f finding out the answers to difficult math puzzles. If you know 6 plus 4 equals 10, then you know that just about any number that ends in 4 plus another 6 is going to equal the next 10 above it, just like in these patterns here. Mathematics is predictable. And it is a wonderful thing once you figure that out. So go out there and find some difficult math fact extensions and solve them.